But as you see, Charlie's not here this morning. Yeah, and uh, they asked me to preach, and uh, and I, I prayed. I said, okay, I, you know, I, be- I believe in trusting God will give me a word. And like I said, I believe He has gave me a word, because Satan right now is trying to attack me to keep me quiet. Unless God wants me to be quiet, I don't know. But uh, I'm just going to trust that God has the work for this hour. And hopefully it won't be an hour. This time, I, this is original. It's nothing that I went to look and look at someone else's sermon and, and kind of use it. I just, I just pray and ask God to give me a word and that it be, be, be directly Him and only Him. So it's going to take as long as God wants it to be. Um, and if I have, I have a title for this, it's, it's, a, it's a, I guess, a, a New Year's type message. But the title of it be called Here and Now. <clears throat> Here and Now. And I have uh, <clears throat> three points, three things. So the question, you can ask the question, says, what to do to help have a better new year? Well, I have three points. You know, you know, a lot of times preachers like to have three points. <clears throat> Sometimes some have longer points than that, but I only got three, thank God. <clears throat> Again, bear with me with my, with my voice. Uh, the three points is, first of all, we need to have the renewing of our mind. That's the first one. The second one would be learn from your mistakes. And the next one would be don't worry about tomorrow. Well, we won't have a good new year, right? So we got a plan for tomorrow, right? Well, don't worry about it. But first of all, the renewing of our mind. Yeah, let's go to Romans 12, chapter 2. And I got, I got several verses, so we'll be going back and forth in the, in the, <clears throat> in the Bible. It'll be like a Bible drill. Romans 12, verse 2. Before I start, <clears throat> I know I prayed a while ago, but I'm going to pray again. God is expecting me to pray again. So, dear Father, I just want to thank you for this morning again. Lord, I pray that your word will come forth, Father, that your word will not return back void. That, Father, that the word you have me to speak, Lord, when you first give it this, this word to me, that, Father, it's still the word you want to give. And you, sh- you speak, Father, not me again, Lord. You speak. So I pray, Father. Let your word, Lord, just go out forth and let people hear what you have to say. So bless this time in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> All right, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, <clears throat> excuse me, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, If you want to have a godly life, a better year, a new year, a year that you was hoping to be better than what was last year, then you need to have to turn from the worldly things of this world. Turn away from it completely and get our minds focused on the things of God, things that look up to the Father. And then we should have a renewing of our mind, the mind of Christ. Doing so we should keep, doing so keeps you in the will of God. So if we want to be able to stay in the will of God and continuously showing ourselves approved, we need to keep our minds focused on the things. And sometimes it's not just to renew it now and then hope it stays good for all the days. We gotta continuously want to have our minds stay focused. That means it's gonna be a day by day deal. Sorry guys. So, one thing to help us to have a renewing mind, we, you know, I, there's a prayer that I pray probably every single day. And it's about asking God to create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. In me, in me. <clears throat> and, uh, and it's Psalms 5110. And, uh, and I pretty much already quoted it, but <clears throat> if you want to turn to Psalms 5110, you can. But Psalms 51.10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. 
So that's, that's a prayer that I've been praying <clears throat> every day. That just not to have a renew in my mind, and then, and then that be it. And that's all I have to do is try to get my mind renewed, which is good. But we got, I believe, to keep on praying this prayer. That because sometimes our minds don't want to stay renewed, our minds wants to wander off. And like I said before, we need to try to focus ourselves in our hearts and minds on the things of God. Focus on things on the Father, and we and and, and ask Him to, to do this a day by day deal. <clears throat> It's, it's, a, it's good, to, to, you know, it's a good scripture, a great scripture to pray over yourself each day. So it'll help you throughout your whole, your life. And it'll help this starting off today be a great day to start doing that. If you want to start this new year off the way you want, that, that you want God to have you to start is to pray that he renews the right spirit there in you. To, to cleanse your heart, to purify you each day. And it's good to also learn which is the second point. First point was renewing your mind. You know, get your mind set, clear it up from the things of the world, and, and, and ask God to come in and, and, and be the one to control. But first of all, we need to learn from our mistakes also. That's the second thing. It's good to learn from your mistakes. Try not to repeat them like the Israelites did. You know how they, they keep on wanting to go back, keep wanting to go back, keep going back. They want to worry about what they could have had back then in Egypt. Instead of worrying about what God's trying to have for them in front of them. To, to, to try to press forward. They want to worry about, oh, it's better if we just go back to where we were. And it's not better. God has a better plan for you. God has something for you that he wants you to continue to go forward to. And, 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 do, and do your best. But don't let your past or mistakes control you. <clears throat> we need to do what Paul said over in Philippians chapter 3. Like I said, and you don't have to turn there if you don't want to for time's sake. I got mine all marked as best I can to hopefully get it marked. But Philippians 3, <clears throat> verse 13 and 14. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upper call of God in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> it's good to always remember what you've done in the past, to, to learn from it, and try not to make the mistakes. But it's more or less, you know, and Paul's not, I don't think like he's saying to actually forget it. And I'm not trying to put words in Paul's mouth, but uh, I think he wants us to just don't worry about it. Don't worry about what happened in the past. But press on. Go to what if God, if God has called you to do something, God has promised you, which we have taught, you know, in the, in, in Sunday school and all about different things. But what has God said, and that we do, what's got God said is it, 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 I believe it, and, that, and that's what it is, you know. <clears throat> and I said, but we just got to believe and know that He has something for us. The past is the past. You know, we've done things. Things has happened in our past. Uh, we have uh, <clears throat> gone through a couple of divisions, more or less, in, I guess, in a, in a way. You know, we started off in one church, you know, and then things happen. Uh, I believe that God, and it was a God thing, though, too. God separated us from the church, and we, and we had started a, a new church. <clears throat> and we was, uh, when we first come up with the thinking of the church, you know, we said, you know, we was wondering, well, what is it? Well, people started, you know, I know the, my mom did, had a vision, and then Pastor Larry had a vision. And then we, and then we discussed it. And you know what? We all had need a new vision in our life. <clears throat> we need to seek out the vision of what God wants us to have. And that's where we come up with the, the, the new vision. And we like, well, we love fellowship. So, uh, you know, so we have a new vision. Family Fellowship. And since there was another church named that, well, we had a, you know, it was of Mesquite, I believe this place was, New Vision Family Fellowship of Mesquite. Well, we had to try to make sure we didn't stay separate from them. We added on a Central Texas. So everyone out there who wondered where her name came from, that's how we got her name. And that's why it's so long. <laughs> but uh, we have to focus on what God has before us. And, 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 and when we got to where we got, you know, after that one, the first division, 
God has used it where we're at. He used it. And he kept us there for a while, for time. <clears throat> but some reason God apparently seemed fit to, to kind of spread us out even further. So, that, you know, I, it just came to mind that I believe God is what he's doing. He's trying us to, you know, he wants us to spread the gospel, right? And that's, and I believe he's helping us out. That's why we seem to keep, and who's no, who knows, there might be something else. I mean, not nothing bad, but something else that God can use when we go back, go, go, get, get to somewhere else, to another building, the guy uses there, and who knows, there might be another division. And, but he may be the, the main ones who, you know, other division might be there, but another group of people might want to split away and start a new church. And we'll still be new vision right where we're going to be at. <clears throat> Not here, maybe somewhere else. But, uh, but God has a plan. And we just got to press forward and look towards that what God has for us. All the promises he has for us. And keep looking forward. <clears throat> when you look toward Jesus and keep moving forward towards his, the things of him. <clears throat> and while it is good to look toward the future and make plans, we do not need to worry about it either. I mean, we talking about how we, you know, we, we, we do have a building that we hopefully we will have. And I uh, <clears throat> was hoping next week we'll be in it, but it might be in the next week after because of other problems. There are other situations that's been going on. But, uh, but we do, but we, we believe in that we do have a building. And I just wanted to tell a story about that. Because <clears throat> of, of how God has moved us in different places and kept moving us, uh, there's some things I believe that we have done as a church that help provide, help to, you know, to kind of be faithful. See, I believe if God probably would have still stuck here if we wasn't faithful in things that we're doing. From <clears throat> earlier, Mom reminded me in there in Sunday school that how God, you know, when she felt like, well, we can't just sit here. We need to do something. Well, then all of a sudden, someone came up with the idea about a garage sale. Boom, idea came about. We did something. We helped, you know, bring in some money to help with our building fund. And as we're here in this building, y'all know the echo is a problem. Well, we could sit there and complain about an echo. And we still have an echo. But as we came together, when we went to Tony's house that, are, that one, a few weeks back, or how many weeks back it was, we had a discussion about things. What can we do as a church to try to make things better for our church? So instead of complaining, we came together as a church. We came together. We unified together and tried to make solutions. Yes, we trust in God. We ask God, God, what shall we do? And we pray and ask God for it. What shall we do? And he says, okay, you know, well, we'll do this, we'll do that, you know. And it was said, you know, why not put maybe the, the speakers back? I could have said, no, nah, it ain't going to help none. <clears throat> I was like, well, let's try. What, what would hurt to just try? Well, as some of y'all can tell, and then some people have mentioned, that the echo is better. It's not as bad. <clears throat> I know my voice is not making any help right now, <laughs> but the echo is actually better. Still an echo. And you, know, you know, not too long after we have, that, that after we have came together as a church and came in that meeting, we found out Charlie, our pastor, been going to another church on the Sunday nights just to, you know, because we don't have church on Sunday nights. So he wanted something, he wanted to be fed. He didn't want to be the one spoon feeding us. He wanted the one to get spoon fed. So he went to another church on Sunday nights and he invited us to go one time. And we did. Some of us went uh, to the church. <clears throat> and and he's, he just came up and, you know, you know what? He, he got us asked for prayer for a church. And when he asked for prayer, there happened to be a man that happened to be in the same in the congregation <clears throat> that had, that God told him, says, here's, you've been praying for someone to take over the building. Here's your opportunity. Here's the chance. Bless them. So, <clears throat> like I said, hopefully... Not, but it was going to be next week, but it won't be next week. It'll be the week after because of some things. But we have a new building. 
Praise God. And I believe it's caused all the faithfulness that we have done throughout our time here. People continue to come, not want to complain about it. Yes, we can. I mean, we could have left the speakers back here. We could have done, you know, just not done nothing and complain and just continue doing what we're doing instead of trying to focus on what God wants us to do and, and, and try to make, you know, <clears throat> a solution, try to help and seek after God for the solution. And I think because of the faithfulness, not too, like I said, but not too long after we had that meeting and we went to the church, the solution came from God. Praise God. So we can continuously, you know, even though we're looking forward to what's going to happen, just don't worry about it. Well, <clears throat> before we get too far about talking about worrying, let's go to Matthew chapter 6, <clears throat> which it talks about worrying. Matthew 6, <clears throat> verses 25 through 34. And this scripture, if you want to get there, y'all can. To kind of see what it says. Since you can't really understand me, probably I hope. So maybe you can at least read along with me. Just kind of follow along. In Matthew 6, chapter, Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34 says, <clears throat> Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will not what you eat or what you will drink nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet <clears throat> your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit of this stature, of his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor, nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in, in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. <clears throat> now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, like I said, and, and you know, while it's good to look toward the future and make plans, we don't need to worry about it. I mean, we're talking about how, well, some of us drove by, looked at the building and says, oh, well, we can do this, we can do that, you know, and, you know, and Charlie was, was talking to Dad about, you know, how he can, we can paint this, why do this and whatever, but thinking that, you know, oh, but it's going to cost us money. Well, it could cost us money. Sometimes life, you know, things in life is not just actually free. You know, sometimes we have to put in a little effort, a little, you know, and, and a lot of times, yes, it is money we got to put into to help provide some things. But we got to trust in God that He will provide that money for us. We got to trust in God that He will just, I mean, <clears throat> we've been, been faithful, giving to money, you know, to the building fund. We started the K dollar deal, which ended up being more than just K dollars. It's whatever, as long as it's a dollar, give it to the building fund and whatever else you feel like giving. And we've been doing it faithfully. And God's been building up the building fund and, you know, and it's been doing pretty good. I mean, it's, it's probably not <clears throat> there for us to really go build a whole brand new building, but it's something to start with. But as God sees our faithfulness and then with and being such a small number, I believe he provided in a way where we didn't have to worry about using so much more of that money. Because of this, what happened when Charlie uh, spoke up and asked for prayer for our church, excuse me, and, and asked prayer for our church, and then it happened to be a man, I said, well, well that was a coincidence, right? No, that's the hand of God moving. God 
was there. He was one who uh, he put everything in, play, in place. <clears throat> and so if he can give us this building as he has been given us or we, and we believe that he's given us, then whatever else that we got to do to the building to, to kind of help when we, if we happen to grow bigger. Because right now the church is just fine for what we have. Uh, people out there, you know, on the YouTube land can't really see how many people we have. We don't, we have maybe a handful of people. So this church is just perfect for, our, for what we have right now. But trust and believe that God can make things even better. Trust that God can build grow us. That I prayed earlier that he grow us in, in, in our spirit stronger. <clears throat> but then he'll also help us grow in number. So when that day comes, when we say, whoa, this place is getting full. We need a bigger church. Well, God will provide. Don't worry about it. God will provide. <clears throat> so, to have a better life, have a, or especially a better new year, we need not to worry. Yes, learn from your past and prepare from the great, for a great future. It's always good to prepare for a good future. But don't worry. If God does so much for, the, <clears throat> for nature's sake, if God does so much things for you. He feeds, feeds the birds. He, 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 he has the grass being watered. He does everything for this world. How much more greater are we than they are? I mean, why wouldn't he put as much, in, 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 if not more effort, in taking care of the creation that he made in his liking? In his own image. He loves you more than we really can imagine. <clears throat> so, like Jesus said in verse 34, so this is the words of Jesus as we read. He says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for you know, we just need to Let's take care of what is up today, the here and now. Because if we can't take care of the here and now, how can God trust us and help us along in the future? Yes, like, like I said before, learn about the past. Learn from those mistakes so we won't repeat them. Plan for the future, which is okay. But don't worry. Take care of what's here and now. And I believe that's what we did when we got we we moved the the uh, the, the speakers down, oh, you know, back there. We're moving back there. We just take care of the here and now, hoping to help, and it did a little. But we was doing what we need to do here and now. <clears throat> and we got this building, and we've been coming to this building. We're taking care of here and now. And let's keep our focus on what we need to do now. God will take care of the future for, you know, like it says, tomorrow has its own troubles. Let's take care of now. Uh, so if we can't take care of the here and now and trust God in, in it then how do we expect to have a better tomorrow a better new year see it all goes back though Romans 12 too though you know yes I you know I had three things renewing the mind you know uh, what was the other one y'all <laughs> learn from mistakes and don't worry about tomorrow but it all turns back to the first thing though the renewing of your mind. There are two other scriptures in which, and I'm getting close to the, the closing of this. <clears throat> There's two other scriptures I wanted to share. And the first one is, um, and I, I think this will help us in, 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 our, in our help of renewing our minds. Philippians chapter 4, <clears throat> 8 and 9. Philippians chapter 4, 8, 9 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are, are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue and if there is any praiseworthy, meditate on these things. These things which you learn and receive and heard and saw in me these do, and the God of peace will be with you. See, we need to put our focus on these things that are of good report, things that will praise God. Give Him all the honor and glory. Keep our minds and focus on those things, the things of God. 
Kind of like, you know, we talked about, you know, but they, but you know, what, 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 what God said, God said it, and, you know, therefore it, it is. Well, God, when Jesus asked Peter to come, or when Peter asked Jesus, can I come out of the boat, come to you, bid me to come. He said, Peter, come. He did. He stepped out of the boat, got on the water, and started walking towards Jesus. He was doing fine long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, but then all of a sudden he saw the waves coming up and over. He started th looking at those things. He started looking at things that are around him instead of looking straight ahead towards Jesus. He started worrying about the things that's around him instead of trying to trust in what Jesus is trying to do. And he started sinking. But thank God we can cry out like, like Peter did. Please, Jesus, help us. Please save me. Peter, uh, Jesus was there, put down his hand, grabbed Peter from out of the water, and then carried him the rest of the way. So remember, we can be able to look towards Jesus. As long as we keep our focus and keep our minds set and our hearts put, you know, renewed, you know, we can keep our eyes on Jesus. And we can be able to keep on doing what he has us. But don't worry if we happen to just kind of look off a little bit here and there and start worrying. Get your mind off of that and say, Jesus, help me. Help us, Lord. Our minds are not about all right. We need to get back in, in the focus on you. He'll be there to help us along. He will be. He says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So keep your mind focused on the right things. And it can help you and keep your mind renewed each day, every day. See, the world also, te the world also tells us that we did that. that uh, excuse me. The word also tells us to die daily and pick up our Christ, cross to follow him. And then one last thing, <clears throat> we shall not lose heart. Do not lose heart. Second Corinthians, this last scripture here, Second Corinthians chapter four and verse 16. <clears throat> Second Corinthians chapter four, verse 16 says, therefore we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inner man is being renewed day by day. So if we keep our minds focused on God, keep our minds set on the things of God, things that are pure, things that are noble, those things and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will be upon us. We just trust in Him. And I said that was going to be the last verse. We're going to get back in Philippians 4 again and back up a couple of verses. <clears throat> in verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And that's what we got to do. And it's, just a, it's not just a day by day sometimes. Sometimes it's a moment by moment. Something that we need to do in, 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 to make this new year better to make us have a, a better new year, to have a better life, a life that will point to Jesus. It's something we need to do day by day. It's good to say, yes, I, I'm gonna make a resolution, you know, New, new Year's resolution, I'm gonna lose weight this year. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, a few weeks later, you're, you're back eating all the big junk food and fast foods and everything, and <clears throat> you still get the big belly on you. You don't lose weight. You may actually may gain more weight, besides lose some. But um, we got to keep our focus on the things what God has us to do. Look towards the prize. You know, let's learn from what we've done in the past and try to make it better for the future by trusting in what God can do. And He can do it. Don't worry about what might, might, may happen. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about what we should, who can be able to do it. But God can do it all. He might just have to use us to, you know, use our hands to do it but he is the one who can and without him we can't so to have a new year a great new year to have a new better life renew your minds don't worry don't worry about the past don't worry about the future but let's take care of the here and now and be faithful and God will provide he'll, he'll make this church thrive so strong if we just keep our focus on the right things every day, moment by moment. <clears throat> Dear Father, I just want to thank you Lord, for this message. Lord, I thank you for everything. Lord, I pray you just, I pray your word was spoken. 
I pray that your voice was heard, not mine, even though my voice is a crackling voice right now. I hope you still that your words came out, Lord, and people heard. I pray that the people want to come this morning and pray and trust in you this morning. That they want to come and, and, and seek out the things of you. Knowing that, Lord, that, that we cannot do nothing without you, Lord, is that all things are possible only through Christ. Only through God we can be able to do all things. That through the strength of him we can. In our own strength, Lord, we will just fail, make a big mess out of things. So I pray, Father, we come this morning. I pray we just come and seek after you, your, seek after your heart, after your mind, and not the things of the world, but things of you, Lord, that we can come before you acceptable in the perfect will of God. So bless us, Lord. Help us, Lord, in, 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 in each area. And if there's anything else that, that we need to come to pray about this morning, pray for us. Come to the altar. You know, I know we ain't got much of an altar here. But come and ask God for his, his blessings. Ask God for his help. Ask God for his healing. As you all know, I need to ask God for healing my throat right now. But, <clears throat> but he can. He can do all things. So as you come this morning to pray, you know, to pray, pray for all those things that we need. And ask, seek him first, the kingdom, and all his righteousness, and all these things that we will pray for will come to pass. It will all happen. So I praise you, Lord. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.